Today we're going to talk about the Zebra FS VS70. Want to do an unboxing with everyone here. So we can open up the lid here. Inside you'll find the paperwork. So two pieces of documentation, one being the quick start guide that takes you to a website where you can download documentation and manuals and the other one being a regulatory guide. A little bit of foam for protective shipping and then the actual camera itself. So the FSVS, so the FS stands for fixed scanning, VS can be stand, stand for you know, vision sensor. So we are able to do barcode scanning or code scanning in general, and then you can upgrade the same piece of hardware from an FS to a VS system, allowing you to do any quality inspection and uh, you know, optic location, et cetera. This is very similar to our VS FS40. The biggest difference is the C-mount lens. So the, the FS VS40, comes with a liquid lens kind of built in, and with the VS FS70, you're able to have a C-mount lens. So if for situations where you have a far working range or a very specific field of view, you can purchase the right lens for your application. Form factor-wise, it is about two and a half inches wide by three inches tall, about five inches deep. So this extra cover here that protects C-mount lens adds a little bit of length. Uh, we still maintain up to an IP67 rating on this piece of hardware. From mounting perspective, you have uh, three options with this extra mount on the back on this side, three here, and then four on the back. So, you know, you can mount this any kind of configuration that you need for your application. On the top, you have a tune button, and that allows the camera to uh, automatically set the parameters that it can adjust when looking at a code. Unlike our VS FS40, since the lens is still being set mechanically by hand, it can't automatically set the uh, resolution or the uh, focus. Mentioning resolution, this camera can come with a 2.3 or 5.1 megapixel camera. So for situations where you need the extra resolution to see really small codes, that extra resolution there is going to really do you a big favor. The Trade-off there is the frames per second. So with the 2.3 megapixel camera, you're able to acquire at 60 frames per second. With the 5.1, you're able to acquire at a 30 frames per second. For, for applications where you have moving product underneath, the 60 frames per second allow us to acquire the right sharp image and still decode it in time as more product comes down. The frames per second we talked about, connectivity. So on the bottom, we have our IO port. So this can provide power 10 to 30 volts DC and nine programmable pins. So we're able to set some of those inputs, some of those outputs, it's very dynamic. Depending on your application, you can adjust what those nine pins do. In the middle here is our illumination port. So if I'm looking to drive an external light like this one, I can plug this light to that port and then drive this together. And that can help simplify the cabling in your application. The last two here are Ethernet ports. So either port can be used to talk uh, TCP IP, uh, Ethernet IP, Modbus TCP, Profinet, and more field buses as time goes on. But the reason why we have two, and that's an option that you can add as a module to the VS40, is because if I'm looking to send or store images, that's a lot of data to be going out, especially at the 5.1 megapixel range. I don't want to slow down the traffic of my communication. So by having two dedicated ports, I can sort of separate that traffic and sort of minimize impact of my application. From a tool standpoint, with the fixed scanning, you can do you know, code scanning, you can do OCR for predefined OCR protocols. You can also do uh, customizable ones. So if you want to train your OCR characters, that's an option. As you move to the VS range, you can do object location, pattern matching, uh, absence presence, and a lot of the industry standard machine tools are available with this camera. Thank you for your time and have a good day.